y'all and welcome back to another video by Umbra's Darkness. In today's video, we are going to be going over the new additions that happened today. The mutation flora in the underground cave. Um, yeah, that's it. If you guys didn't catch my video that I first posted today, it was the $20 Google Play giveaway. Make sure to catch that and let me know. Uh, without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, so first, let let's we're going to talk about the easy one, uh, Underground Cave, uh, Cave Challenges. There are four days uh, of challenges so far. Honestly, I kind of expect it to fill out and us to get all seven days. Uh, the reason I expect this is because Cell Challenge Day is on Gathering Day, because it's like the slowest day, obviously. Uh, Evolution Day is on Wednesday, which is already server, server Wednesday. Special Ant Challenge is on Thursday, and Insect Challenge is on Sunday. I really actually like this, guys. It keeps uh, honing in that server versus server is super important, The every day is themed. Uh, the CAs are in line with each other. I really, really am happy that they did this. Um, all right, so let's talk about how this is going to work. So we start the challenge. We go in for a challenge attribute, and you can see all the different attributes for the points. Um, I don't know why these ones are blank yet, but the evolution challenge, you can see the, uh, cell challenge, you can see, and this is based off of what you have stationed right now for bonus attributes. This is based off of your evos for bonus attributes. Um, and I'll show you those in a second. And then, so if we go to attack, uh, you can already see the layout, right? You guys, you can see where your four insects on insect day are going to go. And you can see your six slots where your special ants are going to go so and that'll be on special ant day so i like that this layout is already there but what we do see also you guys is that guardian shooter and carrier are going to be used two guardian two shooter two carrier this is super important uh when we go to talk about the other building and when we get to the other building i'll show you why but remember you guys it's two guardian two shooter two carrier regardless of what you mean Okay, so now let's talk about the days and how, how to min-max the best. All right, you guys. So uh, there's the schedule, just like always. It unlocks at level 10. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, challenge rules. Progress through each challenge. Maximum level is 100. First pass rewards are awarded the first time. So you can only buy each pass once, but you still do have to spend the currency on it. So it's kind of cool, kind of not. But... Uh, to point out, you do get one free shikari plus dupe in there. So for my carrier users, you'll get it one way or another. Trust you, I feel the pain. I don't have one yet. All right. Uh, uncollected challenge rewards in the current week will become unavailable to collect. So you got to make sure that you collect all challenge rewards throughout the week. All right. That's super, super important. Uh, challenge progress will not be reset weekly. So if you don't gather the early ones because you're like, oh, this is silly, uh, right? If you don't gather these first ones because you're like, oh, this is silly, you'll just lose the opportunity to buy them. So always make sure that you check the first pass store first. They were super cheap. I wish I would have saved it for the store, but this one was 10, right, uh, to get. So just make sure that you buy them before you do anything else because after reset, right, so Sunday going into Monday after that reset, they're gone. Okay. Challenge rules. Progress through each of the challenges. Uncollected. All right. Special ant challenge. Right. So you have three special ants. And then this kind of shows that you're going to have to focus on uh, March Unit 2 a little bit farther than what I thought. I still think you shouldn't uh, push March Unit 2 until you're level 25 anyways. Because honestly, you're not going to have enough special ants to do this. Um, in my opinion. Because this, this means that you're going to have six special ants maxed, right? Because you already have three uh, that are given to you. So this requires six special ants. So time your evolutions accordingly on whether or not to focus on March Unit 2. Uh, and then insect challenges. Only bo uh, only bonus attributes from deployed insects, uh, insects will be effective. This is based off of queen levels. So for our queen 25s, again, I always tell you to push queen 25 as soon as possible. You get to deploy four insects. Um, insects are pay to win, uh, uh, orange ones, but this just kind of shows that like, 
if you're not going to make either a six star or a nine star, check out my insect video if you want to know where the breakpoints are. But real quick, six star or nine star that week, maybe you hold off so that way you have those extra six stars, you have those extra nine stars, because that's where the significant change in damages happen at um, when going for this based off of your queen level. So for me, I need four insects, which I currently don't have. Evolution challenge, only specifically evolved combat related evolutions will be effective. Uh, we're going to have to deep dive and figure that out. And then cell challenge only bonus attributes for cells will be effective. This is going to be the most pay to win day, you guys. It's the brand new thing. Um, it's just going to be super difficult. Buy those things from the Alliance store. Grind as you can. Don't try and keep up with the whales. Uh, the whale in my server is already at level 14. I'm stuck at level 4. So don't keep up with the whales. Do your thing slowly but surely. Uh, again, rewards you can get through the... Po uh, epotopic fungi obtained from completing challenges to exchange in the epotopic store and first pass store parts of rewards will only be unlocked after completing certain levels of challenges there are different redeem times limited for different rewards of the epitopic fungi store the limit will reset after certain amounts of time so the daily store will reset at midnight utc and then the first pass store will reset every week Rewards in the first pass store can only be obtained once, you guys. This was super helpful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna thumbs that up. All right, so that's uh, that's the underground cave. It's pure power. You can't level it up. That's it. All right. So now let's talk about the mutation flora. Uh, again, it's pure power. There is no reason as of yet to level it up. I leveled it up before I realized. I thought maybe it would reduce honeydew or something. In testing, it doesn't reduce honeydew. It doesn't reduce the costs. Maybe it'll be required to be a certain level for level 10 insects. If anyone knows what's required for that, has screenshots, please DM me on Discord. Would love to know. Uh, but as of right now, it does nothing. All right, so let's talk about it. Cells, there are six cells. You get one two-star level one cell um, per thing. And these two-star level one cells that you get... Uh, can be leveled up all the way to level 20. So the way that this works is these are the two star cells. They're the lowest that they can get. They can only go up to level three, right? So I have one level two and the rest are level three, uh, level one. The max they can go is level three. And then after you get to three star, the max they can go is level seven, four star, 11, 15. So the highest you can get is a level 35, eight star. Just to keep this into perspective, you guys, um, based off of math from people higher than me, thank you, Grinch. Uh, it is more expensive to get one eight star level 35 orange cell than it is to get one level 11 star insect. Keep that in mind, you guys. All right. So realistically, uh, for my free to play players, grind it as you can get them from the Alliance store. And I have been told that when the Alliance uh, expedition comes we will get more so once the alliance expedition comes hopefully we get more um, more ways to upgrade and stuff like that right and it says right here uh, you can also get them from the alliance store or get them from packs the value in these packs I'm actually a big fan of the $20 one one twenty dollars twenty dollars for a four star seems really good uh, ten dollars for three Three stars also seems really good, you guys. These packs seem pretty okay price. Um, yes, it does increase the pay-to-win to free-to-play gap a little bit, uh, which is a little bit nervous for me, which I'll talk about after this. Um, but I think that these packs are pretty fairly priced. There's no $100 pack. There's nothing like that. If we look at the special pack, I believe. Nope. If we look at the time-limited packs... Uh, there's still no $20 pack. It's 10, 5, 10, 20, uh, or 1, 5, 10, 20. So I, I like that no, there's no $100 pack like there is with the insects. Um, I, this seems, again, pretty free to play. Uh, I know that if I get to my goal and YouTube is able to allow me, I'll start purchasing these and showing you guys what they do on upgrades. Um, okay. So let's talk about the next thing. So to enhance, you use the items from store, right? So you can get them from the fungi store or you can get them from packs or you can use yourself or in order to star up, 
you need startup material. You get startup material from hunting insect or hunting lizards. So if you're in a good alliance like mine, uh, you'll start having more level 25 and level 30 lizards. I do personally believe that on every day other than kill event and Groundhog Day, it'll be worth doing level 25 lizards. Uh, I think it, it'll be worth doing 10 level 25 lizards even on insect day, you guys. Um, yes, it's some points. Yes, it's great. But unless you're competing for first place, you're easily getting ninth, ch ninth shell anyways. So if you're not competing for first place, um, I think it's worth getting 10 in. If you're going for first place, if you're trying to be the best that there is, no. Obviously, don't do it. But um, I think that for, for, for anyone not trying to be like first place or whatever, I think it's a fair attack. Or fair to hit them 10 times on Thursdays. Okay. Uh, next thing. So that's how you, you level them up. And these costs will go up. Uh, and as we can see, there will be more content soon. Uh, or hopefully not soon. Um, and then this, the bio essence, we will unlock once we get the Alliance Expedition next Monday. Really excited to do an overview of that. Uh and apparently during this Alliance Expedition, we will also be getting more materials to level up these things, these six as well. There's a content creator chat, chat in uh, Discord now where they stated something to that effect. Um, other than that, you guys, there's nothing really here in the info that uh, I didn't already cover. Uh, except for the honeydew cost, right, in order to level up. The final thing I wanted to talk about is the optimal. So if you're like, this event is not for me, I do not care about the underground cave at all. You don't care about uh, Tuesday's event, the cell challenge. Then each day uh, or each one of these cells has its ideal one. So for carriers, it's going to be venom gland cell. And for pincer, it's going to be or, and pincer cell, right? Because they both upgrade carrier and its health. I think that that's uh, the most important attribute for carrier ants. You're just improving what the level, the things in order to get T9s improves anyways. Um, and then obviously you have shooter, uh, shooter attack here and shooter attack here. Uh, and then you have carrier ant defense here and you have, carrier, uh, sorry, guardian ant, ant defense here and guardian ant defense here. Now, if you guys didn't notice, I will make it apparently obvious, Venom Gland Cell was all of them. So I think the best one to upgrade is Venom Gland Cell. Uh, as you can see, I wasn't paying attention. I didn't realize just how important it was when uh, this event first started. I leveled this up. Don't make that mistake. Venom Gland Cell, the most important one. It focuses the attributes of each one as much as possible. Um, make sure that you do that. It's the only one that does that. Uh, and if you do care about the underground cave, this is the one that I would upgrade first at all times. I keep this one four or five levels above all the rest and I'd keep the, the other one. So for me, carry ants two to three levels above the rest. And then these ones I would level up, right? So for carriers, I'm still going to level these ones up, uh, just a little bit lower, uh, because it is important to make your carriers or your shooters or your guardians robust in all directions. But um, it, it's not so important at the sacrifice of whatever their main attribute is. So for guardians, it's defense. For carriers, it's health. And for shooters, it's attack. All right, you guys. Uh, the final topic that I wanted to talk to you guys about is the state of the game. I. Uh, this update came a little bit quick for me, uh, if I'm honest. I think that it was a little bit soon. No one in my server has dupes of the new ants. I don't own a single one. Um, not very many people I've talked to have a single one, or a du let alone a dupe, let alone maxed. Uh, I'm really nervous about the pace of release. I know a lot of you guys have DM'd me about it. Um, However, looking into the pack shop, looking into the pricing, it doesn't look like it turned into like a super pay to win game uh, because this this four star could easily have been an eight star at $100. Uh, I'm really glad that they didn't do that. So 
I I I think that the game release and price wise was balanced. I think the pace of new content is a little overwhelming. Uh, I hope that they slow it down and more specifically if anyone is listening to me from the developments i hope you guys give us more heads up uh 12 hours is not enough time to plan uh give us the notes on sunday release it on tuesday or give us the notes on friday uh and release it on monday right so release it on the same day you did i think you guys did it really well start of a new uh server versus server that was really well executed i just think the patch notes should have came out a couple of days ago or no one knew the update was coming. Say, hey, this update's coming in two weeks. This is the new content. Just give us a little bit of time to digest it all. All right, you guys. That's my initial review. Uh, sorry that it, it took so long to get out. But I wanted to give you as much information as possible and be as honest as possible with it. I hope you guys enjoy this. As always, you can find me. In the YouTube comments, I'm pretty active in there, but I'm sorry if I miss your comment. YouTube only notifies me of so many comments on a video. Uh, you can find me on Discord. I'm on there all the time. It's on my phone, whatever. The My username is in the description below. Or, worst case scenario, like I always say, find me on server 174. I'll be happy to talk to you. As always, you guys, stay humble, stay happy, stay hungry. Till next time, bye, y'all.